Huh. Apparently it's impossible to tear a phone book in half. Challenge accepted. <laughs> that was easy. Hmm. Apparently it's impossible to eat a whole bag of sand. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Welcome to Demolition Ranch! Glad to have you here. We have quite a video planned for you today. So, a lot of people have talked about using phone books as body armor. I don't know that it's the greatest idea. It's not the worst idea because we have shot paper and sometimes if you get enough of it, it can stop bullets. But I want to figure out where's that line. Now these, we have the thinner phone books today. You know, phone books don't really exist anymore because, you know, we have phones that have, you know, the internet in them, which you can look up everything. But we looked around, we found some of these antiques. Phone books are still a thing and usually they're about three of these books thick. So we are going to layer, we'll do two first, and we'll shoot it with a small caliber and work our way up and see if phone books can actually do any good. Here's the scenario. You hear glass break in your house and the door opens up. Bad guy coming in. All you have is phone books to protect yourself. So you're gonna put them all over your body. start here just these two phone books on Lieutenant Dan and we're gonna start with the nine millimeter because it's the most common cartridge it's a small cartridge it's like what I would assume a bad guy would break into the house with so can it stop this probably not I think we're gonna have to go thicker but we're gonna start nine millimeter against two phone books we're shooting hollow points out of the Beretta M93 uh, yeah I think it's gonna go straight through There's no way Lieutenant Dan did not just get hit with a bullet. There's our hit right in the middle. And yep, there's a bullet hole down deep. Six books. I feel like this is kind of starting to get a little bit too much. Like, would you really tape that thick of books to your chest to protect yourself? I'm gonna go ahead and say six books will stop it. Hopefully. Lieutenant Dan, I'm gonna send it. Sent. There's our hit. That one went through also. The holes are getting progressively bigger. I didn't think it'd come to this, but uh, here we are. We're gonna shoot eight phone books now. Uh, let's just, that is probably, it's probably about six inches of phone book. So like a normal phone book is bigger than these. This is probably two of the big fat phone books. We have eight though. That's a lot. I looked in the phone book, there's 133 pages in our phone books and we have eight of them. That's 1,060 something pages total. 1,000 pages. Will it stop a 9 millimeter? Oh! We stopped it, but barely. This is the front going through. It could not have been any hot. It could not have been any closer than that. Look, the hollow point is even full of paper right there. Oh, check out my thumbnail. You like that? Dog bit me right there. It was under anesthesia. I thought it was more asleep than it was. Put my hand in its mouth, put a canine tooth right there and clamped down. Didn't cut the skin, but anyway, back to the show. With a thousand pages, it would have stopped at nine millimeter. What if they come in with something bigger though? Let's go ahead and put 12 of these on Lieutenant Dan, and then we're gonna get a little bit bigger calibers and see if we can make it through 12 because I already feel like our test has kind of proved phone books are dumb because you're not gonna put eight on you and even if you do, you're gonna barely stop a nine millimeter. Anything bigger, going through. There's always a debate, nine millimeter versus 45. Nine millimeter, you have more rounds, a little bit faster bullet. 45 though, you've got the stopping power. 45 ACP, out of focus, that's how you know it's good, hollow point. Let's go ahead and launch one of these dinner plates downrange at our 12, 12 phone books. 
I think because it's a larger round, bigger surface area, and going slower, I think it doesn't have a chance of getting through 12. We'll find out. Look how big that hole is. Solid hole there. Before that shot, we put a fresh back book. I just felt it, there were no holes. That did not go through. I would guess it probably only went halfway through. Let's step it up to something that's a little faster moving than a 45 ACP. How about something way faster, but also way smaller? The 5.7 by 28. Also out of focus, how do you, there we go. Look at that hollow point, you see that thing? These are tiny little rounds, super good at penetrating armor. I don't think they're gonna be very good at penetrating phone books though. I don't think there's any way that this will go through 12 phone books. But we're here to find out. Here's our hit. Look at the difference between 45 ACP and 5.7. It is so tiny. It's basically a 22 caliber hole. Basically half the size of that. It actually looks like it's a quarter the size of that. Tiny, tiny. Okay, there's no way that made it through. But let's, uh, let's investigate. Oh man, maybe it did. Let me tear these apart real quick and investigate. I tracked it back. It went through all of these. It stopped in the 10th book. Did not enter the 11th phone book. So you gotta have a lot to stop a 5.7. But we stopped it with our 12. What about if we took a 45 ACP that has all the weight and we took a 5.7 that has all the speed and we kind of made a compromise between the two? I think we could call it a 357 Magnum. A lot of power behind that bullet. It's basically the diameter of a nine millimeter, but going way faster. And it also is a hollow point as well. This is a mean round right here. I think after seeing the 45 ACP and the 5.7, I think the 357 Magnum will also stop with the 12 phone books. But we'll find out. Woo! It's a hot round. That is really hot out of a semi-auto pistol. Boom. Now where is it? That is 357 Magnum coming through and it stopped in the eighth book right here. There's our 357 Magnum. Did not come out of the eighth book. Look at that thing, it's messed up. How about the big boy, the 44 Magnum? It was the largest handgun cartridge in the world for a really long time. Out of our Taurus Raging Bull. I think this cartridge will go through. I don't think that our 12 books will stop it. Seemed like a solid hit. We hit center of the target and I felt all down on the back of this paper, nothing. Our 44 Magnum did not go through. I thought it would. So let's go ahead and step it up to a rifle, a real rifle. And I think we're gonna go old school in this caliber, a caliber that's been around for a super long time. Let us compare a 44 Magnum, which you've seen before, versus a 30-30. So what I want you to notice is there's a lot more powder behind this bullet. It's also skinnier, we'll be going faster. This is a soft tip, so it's something that hopefully some paper can stop, but I, I don't know, this thing is gonna be booking it. It will be moving real fast and probably going real deep. We're gonna be shooting it out of the Henry. Check this out, color case hardened. 30-30, look how cool that metal looks. Such a pretty gun. We're gonna be firing this 30-30 at pretty close range out of the rifle. So I think, I know my predictions never are right, but I think it's gonna go through. Let's find out. Yeah, it had to have gone through it. Little bitty 30-30 hole over here. This is our last phone book and it went through. There's no bullet here which means the bullet went through Lieutenant Dan. The phone books were not stopping the 30-30. Buckshot. It's not gonna go through, but it's gonna tear up the top few layers and maybe if you shoot like, I don't know, like six rounds out of a 12 gauge shotgun, maybe some of that buckshot will get through. I guess actually some of it's probably gonna miss the body armor altogether, but you know, that's neither here nor there. What if we just went ahead and ran this Pumped several rounds into that arbor and see what happened. Well, there's your answer right there. Okay, here's what I want from you guys, if you don't mind. I am trying to grow my bunker 
Branding Instagram page. It's Bunker Branding Co. right there. Go check it out, please, and follow the page. And I don't want to make you do this for free. I want to I want to give you a little incentive. Right now we're at 53,000 followers on that Instagram page. If in one week we get to 75,000 followers, I will give away 75 hats. Signed. I will sign 75 of these hats. I will give them away. And the way we pick you, the way you enter this competition, you follow Bunker Branding Co. And then I'm gonna have a picture of me wearing this, holding this on the page. And what I want you to do is go on that picture and I want you to tag three of your friends that you would fight in the zombie apocalypse with. And I'm gonna go through and we'll pick at random 75 of you if, only if, we make it to 75,000 followers and we will send you a free signed Demolition Ranch hat. You're gonna love it. Thanks for your support over there. We really appreciate it. Also, we have hoodies for sale. Now that's getting cold. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hawk? Bobby!